that seat's in the reserved section, but we'll let you have it for the low price of everything you got. And as a bonus, you get to keep your life. Oh, silent type. You know what they say, silence gives consent. Now you buy yourself something else! I hear there's a new Shane. I want him. Long way to ride for one masked troublemaker. You said it. I got mecha sores on my mecha sores. Ah, not to worry, my blistery friend. Pronto has a most secret molinoid remedy. Sarsaparilla. Do I drink the whole thing? You, you drink it? You sure about this, Eli? Sounds like a pretty tough character in there. My dad never had the chance to train me, but he always said that a Shane never backs down from a challenge. That doesn't mean you have to face it alone. Four against one? Ha! Yes! Allow Pronto to lead the charge! Do not go in there! Come on, guys. Uh, after I render aid to this poor innocent soul, uh, have a sarsaparilla. Are you the one who called me out? Are we gonna duel or? Ow. A little young, uh, skinny. Hey, watch it. Oh, but knock need too. <laughs> we'll see how you do at the winnowing. Winnowing? That's some kind of duel? Oh, look, mister, I... <laughs> Lady? <laughs> Ma'am? Not to be rude, but can we just slug this out and be on our way? You're Will Shane's kid. He was a good man. Worthy of the name. We're not gonna duel, are we? I'm Eli. Eli Shane. A name's gotta be earned, Knockknees. If you wanna earn yours, come to Dojang Grotto at first glow. Speaking of names, uh, didn't catch yours. Shanai. Eli, that's the unbeatable master. The unwettable who? Where'd she go? The master knows the thousand secrets of slinging. The master's gaze can melt solid rock. The master can remove grape juice from linens and banish the blahs! Okay, the stories may be exaggerated, but one thing is certain, the unbeatable master is the greatest slug slinger who ever lived. She appears at a time of her own choosing to take a single student. She hasn't been seen in 30 years. The master trained every Shane in recorded history, eh, including... My dad. Real training. This is what I've been wanting since I got to Slug Terra. Oh, let's turn in. Big day for me tomorrow. It's a big day for all Slug Terrans, Eli. Uh, of course it is, yeah. <sighs> I know, we're early. I couldn't sleep, didn't want to wake the others. This is a great honor. It's shown of it. What are you doing here? The unbeatable master don't put out the call. Figure I got about as much chance as any. But the master teaches the Shanes. Mostly she do. But... But not just Shanes. Told you. Ow. You have to earn that name with me, Knockknees. 
I am here to train the most worthy. If that's you, prove it. So, it's a competition. Okay, no problem. Guys, you came. Thanks for the support. Support? We're here to compete. You thought all this was about you? No. <laughs> yeah, kinda. If she doesn't pick you, might as well be one of the gang. That is support, right? Yes, we shall support you by fighting against you. Thanks. Welcome, one and all, to the winnowing. Winnowing is a way of separating grain. The wind carries off the chaff, leaving only the pure kernel. <laughs> Every Molinoid knows this. Now, whoever would be a slug master, stand on this line. All of you are dismissed. Selfishness and cruelty have no place in a slug master. No, we are not leaving. Not really your choice. Did you see how those slugs were working together? I know. I mean, you do combo moves all the time, but nothing like that. The rest of you, I can dismiss anyone at any time. <laughs> my reasons are my own and my judgment is final. Clear? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then let's see what you got. Um, can you demo that tandem shot again? I'd love to figure out how you did that. I'm not demonstrating here, knockneys. I'm selecting. Ask again and you'll be the demonstration. Oh, got it. When you're finished with your awkward moment, we'll begin the one-on-one -on -one jewels. <sighs> nice one, Eli. <laughs> Begin. You do know this isn't a dance competition, right? Who is that kid? Come on, you call that slug slinging? My own special technique, I call it. <laughs> Catchy name. Yeah. Ah, alas, the poor cave troll. Let him down easy. Meant you, Lumpy. Out. You're excused too, shoulders. Ton of heart, but all the subtlety of a train wreck. Exits. I know. To the left. Wait a minute. They think you two should stick around. Got their own reasons, I don't ask. Stay as our guest. Uh. <laughs> nice moves, your majesty. Move them on out the gate. <laughs> A laugh. You're about one inch from following out that gate. But I hit him. They hit him. Slugs are more than ammunition. More than just your little pals. I know. I talk to them all the time. But do you listen? <laughs> You're done too, pigtails. Only one challenger between me and training with the master. Ever seen him before? No, but do me a favor. Get me some payback. Mm, gross. May the best man win. Oh, I intend to. Take a break, Loki. Whist! <laughs> 
What's the matter, Eli? Does it bother you that I'm here to train with the unbeatable master? The contest is open to anyone, remember? Then why the disguise? Apologies, but Eli and I are rivals. I didn't want to create a distraction to this ceremony. Hm. Takes quite a bond for a slinger to share his slug's latent illusion power. Even I couldn't see through it. <gasps> That's because he's using a ghoul! And you think just because I've been gone a few years, I don't know what a ghoul is? It's the slinger I'm choosing, not the slug. <coughs> Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Rest yourselves. We'll begin the final duel in one hour. See you then. Not if I have anything to say about it. Master Shanai? Uh, oh, you're meditating. I was sleeping. Sorry. <sighs> But I need to warn you. <coughs> You're sick, aren't you? Never mind me. You got issues with that ghoul slinger. We trusted him once and he betrayed us. He's misguided and dangerous. He's fallen in with Dr. Black. Mm, and perhaps he needs my guidance more than you do. I don't understand. Light, dark, there's a little in all of us. The trick is finding balance. Master, please, you don't know Twist like I do. Never uh, presume to know the heart of another. Focus on your own inner peace. Are you so sure you know the best path? I thought I did. Indeed. This reminds me of a time some 30 years ago. I had winnowed the applicants to two. One was a promising young Shane named Will. The other was Thaddeus Black. Black and my dad? They were friends? <laughs> not friends, but not yet enemies. They were rivals. Each showed unique promise. Your father was rough around the edges, but a natural slinger. And what Thaddeus lacked in slug acumen, he made up for in sheer innovation. But Thaddeus... He lacked connection and respect for slugs and their place in the universe. Will had a reckless streak, but he was the clear choice. But Thaddeus... Something happened to him that day. A spark that was the beginning of his journey down a darker path. A spark that I had helped to ignite. I've had very few regrets in my long years, but one question haunts me. Did I choose the right pupil that day? I don't understand. You said my father was the best. Your father was a great Sheen, and would have been without my help. But Black? Uh, perhaps I could have stopped him from taking the dark path that he chose. She'd really do it? Train Black's right-hand man? I have to win now. We can't afford to let her secrets fall into Black's hands. With those and his ghoul arsenal, Dr. Black could be unstoppable. But that's not what worries me the most. Then what does? She may have already made her choice. You've each proven yourselves worthy. This isn't a duel, it's an assessment. The judgment is mine alone. Begin. You're not winning this twist. You never know, Eli. <laughs> Really, Twist? Again with the holograms? Not quite like the Master, but good enough. Huh? Hello, Master. It's been a while. Hands where we can see them, please. If you're after the Master's secrets, you can forget it, Black. Huh. Please. I've surpassed such banalities. This arcane ritual holds but one purpose. To prove who is best. I just did when I took down your apprentice. 
Don't believe everything you see. Fine. I'm down for a rematch with either of you. You're an arrogant gnat, Eli. One I will swat in due time. But there is one here who is worthy of my attention. Today, I shall demonstrate my superiority by beating the unbeatable master herself. You have nothing to prove, Thaddeus. But if this will bring you peace, I accept your challenge. Careful, master. He fights dirty. And his ghouls are... It will be okay, Knockknees. What is that thing? A Gatler. But no one's ever been able to build a working model. There's another way, Thaddeus. A better path. Let me teach you. You no longer offer anything I would find useful. And the name's Black. Dr. Black! Twist! Is that the best your pathetic art can muster? Surrender, Thaddeus. It's never too late to make the right choice. <laughs> Forgive me, Thaddeus. I did not want it to come to this. Like the pure combination of slug powers. A fusion shot? I thought that was impossible. It's over. No! No! <laughs> Doc, can you? It's too late. I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be. You are a true shame. You can bring the peace to the caverns. You just have to find it in yourself. One last mystery. <laughs> Twist. You played your part commendably. Those wounds will heal. She's gone. I didn't think you... Her time was up. I will give you all the training you'll ever need. Move out! No. Excuse me. I said no. No more. You will never hurt another innocent person and just walk away. <sighs> I just defeated the greatest slinger who ever lived. What chance do you have? Make you move. No. We've won enough for today. Come, Twist. You're backing the wrong guy, Twist. And you know it.
was lovely, Pronto. Lucky for us. It's the only song Pronto knows. I feel like I'm better for having known her. What next, Eli? Now you'll never be trained by the Master. You'll never learn her secrets. The Master might have taught me more, but my slugs and I can figure it out on our own. And when we do, Black is going down for gut. Too bad about a blaster. It would have been a powerful weapon against Black. It's okay, Cord. I have some ideas for one of my own. We'll need it if I'm ever gonna pull off that fusion move again. Black is up the ante with that new blaster of his. Now it's our turn. We're taking the battle to Black, and we're not stopping. Not until every ghoul is cured. Not until we stop Dr. Black and his plans once and for all. <laughs> Now we can see what we're chasing. Which is? I've never seen anything like it. But since Black's moving it, my technical analysis would be... Big machine that does bad stuff. to say it, but that was kind of awesome. So, what do we do now? You put your hands up, <sighs> princesses. <laughs> some brass showing your faces again in my cavern. I wouldn't do that. We're only here because you're letting Black transport stuff through the cavern sea. <laughs> you think I'm working with Black? Oh, that's rich. Thanks to him, I'm not working with anyone. Not even my own crew. Right. Stay alert, guys. They're probably gonna jump out any second. No, this is no trick. My men have been snatched away. By Black? By Brutal, a scurvy rat Black hired to build a deep water drill at the bottom of my cavern sea. Of course, Brutal needed some underwater breathers to help him do that. So the treacherous savage captured me crew. Why would Black... Dark water? He's looking to hit pay dirt by drilling into the deep caverns. That's why he's limiting the use of ghouls. He doesn't have enough dark water left to create new ones. Well, no. You want to stop that ring, and I want to crush Brutal and free my crew. Or say we help each other out, eh? That's what you shames do, right? Help people? Yeah, like we would ever... Tell me you aren't buying this, E. I know we can't trust Drake. But if we stop Black from getting more dark water, we might be able to put him out of business. So, we got a deal? Deal. In that case, I hope you know what you're signing on for. Because to do this, you're going to need to follow me all the way to the bottom. In that? Of course not. You're going to use what's inside her. I see your ship is just the way we left it. You got lucky in your first battle at sea. Now hop to and fetch me those 
princess. Let's get something straight here. I'm not your servant or your princess. Oh, my! It's the leader of the Shane Gang, too important to fetch a little tiny sack. How about you then, Moleface? Up to like old times, eh? After the way you treated me when I was your cabin mole? Never! Now, if perhaps you were to offer me a promotion, say to first mate, or... Why don't we each grab our own, huh? What do you think, Burpee? You guys ready to get wet? <laughs> so, how does this stuff work? Dive suits will provide your gillless landlubbers with an air supply and help you move through the water. <laughs> Sweet! You'll need it to keep up with me and me Mimki down here. Just remember to keep an eye on your air gauge. If you run out in the deep blue, it's... <laughs> yeah, 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 we get it, we get it! <laughs> hey, those guys look just like you, Beaker. Aw, shy little guys. Not shy, smart. Maybe if we stay still, they'll go away. Yeah, and maybe our barnacle will dance a jig for you. Yeah. Ah! Arm yourselves! <laughs> Most slugs aren't gonna reach velocity underwater like that. You've got to use a torpedo shell. Torpedo shell? <laughs> Don't tell me you dirt scrubbers have never used a torpedo shell before. Burpee and I got this. I doubt an infernus will be any good down here, princess. <sighs> Type for a torpedo shell? Use your aqua beak! He doesn't need a torpedo shell? You have a lot to learn about slinging slugs underwater, princess! Huh? <laughs> Cord, I thought you hated the water. How are you? Fighting helps me forget I'm swimming. <laughs> but you just reminded me. Thanks. Ah! <laughs> all right, guys, circle up and cover each other from all sides. What are you doing, you cowardly cunt? You'll never beat these things as a scaredy ball. Now break up. And spread out! Stop giving us orders. You're not our captain, and we're not your crew. You couldn't even handle a cavern shark without me. So unless you and your chums want to be tough... Come on, guys! What was that? Who cares if it got rid of the sharks? Eo do realize that if the sharks are scared of it, it has to be scarier than the sharks. Huge machine we were chasing. Only now it's part of an even huger machine. What is that? That's the drill. Looks like they haven't hit dark water yet. And who's that? Let me guess. That's Brutal. Aye. That's my brother. Huh? Your brother? Yes. I know it's hard to tell because I'm so much better looking, 
<gasps> they think he spotted us. Take the tower! Smash my brother in the face! <laughs> Want another shot? Okay, buddy. <laughs> this years ago, when you stole from your own blood. That's a load of bills! I never stole from you. The Drakes have never stolen from family until you took my crew. It's not stealing when you offer more gold, and they decide to take it. It pays much more for our loyalty than you ever did. <laughs> yeah. You traitorous leech lickers! Anyone else get the feeling that there's actually no one to save here? No, you don't! I think you're starting to like it down here. Will you stop reminding me where we are? There! Quick! Now's our chance! Follow me! Get brutal! No! We're heading for the high ground to take out the rig. Oh, no, you're not, princess. You're gonna listen to me. Let's go. Drake's good. Huh? <laughs> this way, quickly! That is if you don't mind taking orders from me. You know nothing of the perils of the deep, yet you continue to endanger your crew by defying my orders! Thank you for your concern, but when this crew has an issue, we will take it up with our captain, which is not you, good sir. And while we're on the subject of crews, yours wasn't captured. They left you. This is all some sibling rivalry thing with Brutal. You lied to us about everything. Of course I lied. I'm a pirate. <sighs> but... I was telling the truth about wanting to get my brother. I need you to get what I want, and you need me to get what you want. So if we can work together... Dude, we already tried that, and we ended up here. Because I didn't listen to him. Because we can't trust them. I know, but we're out of our element down here, and this is our shot to really hit Black where it counts. I know working with Drake is a huge risk, but he's got skills we need. I think it's worth it. <laughs> Real predicament you lot got there, eh? I'd be happy to chat about it all day, but you can't. We're with you, Eli. Always. Good choice, because I have a fantastic plan. Oh, smile, princess. You'll like this one. It involves us splitting up. Court? There. If we can get that vent open and fire some sploders in there, that should bring the rig down. But first, we have to take out Black's henchmen, which shouldn't be impossible if Drake does his part and handles his brother and the pirates. Well, at least we have an insurance policy to make sure he does. Why does Pronto have to hold this thing? Because I'm a captain, and you're the first mate. And I did. Oh, you did promote me. Now release that thing, old face.
Sorry, Morpheus, but this is between me and my brother. It's now or never. So, have you come to beg for forgiveness for stealing from me when we were lads? You're gonna kiss my fist with that lying mouth! I never took anything from you! Oh, yes, you did. Did not! Did you? Did not! Did not! All right, Cord. Let's get that vent open. Uh, what was it that you think I stole from you? My Mimki. What? I didn't steal him. You gave him to me for my birthday. I did? You know, you lied. I did. So now what? Let's bring this thing down! No longer a need for that, princesses! <laughs> I wouldn't want to harm the drill now it's so close to hitting dark water. And belongs to the Brothers Drake! Well, if it's any consolation, I fully intended to stick with our plan, but a better offer came along. That's just how pirates roll. <laughs> you should have learned that much about us by now. Oh, I have. Which is why I'm offering your crew ten times their pay to join me. Mm, really? Nope. Sick of boys! I was gonna see that! The drill could hit dark water any minute, and it doesn't look like Drake's in the mood to give us fresh dive suits with more air. We gotta get that vent open now. I got just the mod for the job. Cover up! <laughs> I've got this one, brother. Won't be hard. This princess is hopeless down here without me telling him what to do. I'm a pretty fast learner. <laughs> nice move there! Taking cover and grasping seaweed! <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to help, but your fire doesn't work down here. Murphy, wait! Where are you? Uh-uh. Drop it, princess. Nice to see you finally take an order properly. Care to do the honors? With pleasure. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Magic Mimkey! <laughs> Something that can pull it from the inside and collapse it on itself. I tell you, if this weren't so exciting, I'd be really freaking out right now. You think you can do it? Okay, Baker.
taking out Blackstrow was important, but nothing's more important to me than this gang, including you, Beaker. I'm sorry. Huh? <laughs> 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 about Drake and Brutal. Oh, I think they'll have their hands full for a while. Mad Gang! Come here! They all look the same! Ignore the ones with punch marks in them! MK! Not this one! Come here, you! Nothing personal! Hey, Trixie here, live. I don't need to tell you about the crime wave hitting Slug Terra. It's been almost a week, and our mystery thief is still stealing stuff all over. Shang gang are on the hunt right now. But if anyone out there knows where this thief is, I do. <gasps> She's right here. Hey! Dana Poor? Oh, can you say that again? I want everyone to know who's the best thief in Slug Terra. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. If she does, she'll find us waiting. Yes, well, uh, let us hope she does not keep us waiting too long. <laughs> Pronto needs a snack. We don't even know for sure she's gonna try and rob the cavern museum. She will. She's hit pretty much every other high security target in Slug Terra. And disappeared into thin air. Not to mention she's posted enough clues for us on the slug net using my camera. Well, while we wait, I'm gonna dive into this week's crossword and win me some loot. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Pronto still needs a snack. And I need a nine-letter word for flim flam that starts with a B. Try bamboozle. Dana! But how could she have gotten in? Less talking, more slugging that camera stealer! Careful, Trixie. You don't want to set off the alarm system, but I do. Scatter! better. In fact, let me take a picture of it. My camera! That's enough, Dana. When we first met, I thought maybe we could actually be friends. We gave you every chance to do the right thing. 
but you're just a no-good thief. <laughs> yep. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, yeah? You're not the only one with an arachnid slug. There's nothing you can do that Spinner and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! No way! No way she could have gotten through there! Ah! Yeah, well, she did. It's like she just disappeared into the shadow. <laughs> huh? But how? Yes! We did it again. <laughs> Gotta say, though, that one's gonna be hard to talk. And I think I know just the place. One last job, and we can retire the best thieves in the history of Slug Terra. <laughs> Come on, guys. It may not have been our best night, but the museum wasn't a total disaster. Yeah, bamboozle. I never would have gotten that. At least no one saw us flailing around like a... a bunch of floppers! Uh, she posted it on the slug net! With my camera! I still don't get what Dana thinks she's doing. The only thing she took from the museum is a t-shirt from the gift shop. Well, besides making us look bad, I'd say she's doing it for the fun of busting into any place she wants. And the fact that no one can stop her. In that case, the thrill ride's coming to an end. There's nowhere harder to get into than the museum. No. There is one place. Dr. Black's. You catch that slug ball game last night? Blade City Brutes killed it. have something worth stealing in here. <laughs> well, well. What do we have here? Got it. <laughs> ah, yeah. May I help you? Who are you? Just a no-good thief. Relax. I just wanted to see the look on your face when I... <laughs> okay, that's not the look I was hoping for. <laughs> Please, just take the blaster back. Oh, I intend to. You won't be leaving with anything. In fact, you won't be leaving at all! I... I should have known better. After all, having your blaster stolen? That's just about the most humiliating thing that can happen to a slinger. Everything okay, boss? I heard... I've... lost something. I'll gather up the boys. No. I'd rather keep this quiet. Leave it to me, boss. I'll find someone who can discreetly eliminate this problem. Whoa. That was a close one. But I'm still the best. <laughs> I bet Dr. Black is losing his mind right about now. I didn't realize this would be an audition. That's a pity for you. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am. Yeah, yeah. You're the one they call the gentleman. <laughs> it's not polite to interrupt. I was going to say, I am the chap who's going to get this job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talk funny. <laughs> You should not have doubted me, my friends. A gentleman always keeps his word. I believe we found our man. I have two things I need delivered to me. A blaster and the girl who took it. Relax. We're safe up here. We covered our tracks. But not your trail. Who? Oh, I think you know who I am, don't you, little thief? Then you know how this will end. You can have the blaster. Take it! It was only a joke. That would make this easier for me, but not for you, I'm afraid. I promised my employer that blaster and you, and a gentleman always keeps his word. <laughs> Now, where could you have gotten to, my dear? Let's follow the trail, shall we? Don't mind me. Just passing through. Interesting. What a waste. Ten hours in the bush staking out the entrance to Black's cavern. Maybe she had another way in. Ah, trust me! If a tracker as keen-eyed and sharp-nosed as Pronto cannot find her, then a port cannot be found. Aha! You see? Apparently, I'm even better than I thought. Yeah, yeah. You caught me. Now, hurry up and close the door. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You had us chasing our tails like a bunch of floppers. And now I'm turning myself in. My camera! I don't get it. Why would you just give up? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Calls himself the gentleman. He's working for Dr. Black. So you did try to steal from Black. Try. I did. And now, Black wants payback. Allow me to introduce myself. I am... It, Dana told me about you, and the blaster. It's inside. You're welcome to it. Unfortunately, I will have to decline your offer, unless the girl comes with it. Can't do that. I don't like what she's done, but I'm not gonna hand her over to Dr. Black. I gave her my word. That I can certainly appreciate. So it appears we will have to find another way out of this impasse. Impasse? 23 across? Thanks! Not very polite to leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> Hey, I thought it wasn't polite to leave without saying goodbye.
afraid you're trapped. No, you are. Yaha! A mere distraction. Exactly! I guess Dana bolted. Guess again. So what do we do with her now? I got some ideas. If I could take back all the stuff I did, trust me, I would. And we should just take your word for that? Huh? No, you should take mine. I trust her. Thanks, Eli. For everything. Don't thank me. Prove me right. I believe I know what happens next. I don't think you do. We're letting you go. We are? Bro. This dude's one of the bad guys, and he's good with words. Even if we return his blaster, Black is still gonna hunt her down. This is what we have to do to protect her. You're gonna go to Black and tell him to meet me in Chilbor Cavern, alone. And this is exactly how it's gonna go down. So here we are. Have it or not. Then give it to me. I'm here as you asked, alone, unarmed. Can't believe you actually kept your word. <sighs> you should have trusted those instincts. Guess I should have known you'd lie. Uh, about several things. <laughs> What? You! Her name's Dana. She's a friend of mine. certain that Geoshar did its job. A gentleman always keeps his word. It's okay, bro. We got you. And these slugs are safe, too. Thanks to Pronto. Dude, if he crystallized her heart, or her brain. He didn't. <laughs> what happened? Exactly what we planned. You're gonna go to Black and tell him to meet me in Chilbor Cavern, alone. And this is exactly how it's gonna go down. We're going to convince Black she's taken care of. Even with the blaster back, Black won't let this end without drawing blood. So you're gonna use that eye of yours to hit Dana in just the right spot to make it look like she's finished. Without, you know, actually hurting her. We got a deal? It looks as if I have no choice but to agree. But I am a man of my word. I promised Dr. Black I'd bring him the blaster and the girl. And you're going to do exactly that. And then you're going to keep your word to me.
So, now that Black thinks I'm at the bottom of the Under River, that's it? I'm in the clear? As long as you lay low, which means no more stealing. Thanks. Don't thank me. Prove me right. I will. Whoa! Where'd she go? She bamboozled us. I thought I could trust her. You can. Shadow Clan tech. So that's how you did it. Where'd you get this? Inside your crate. The one with the Shadow Talker? This thing lets me walk through the shadows just like the Shadow Clan. And you just took it? That's what I do. What I used to do. I'm giving everything I stole back. Including this. No. Uh, excuse me, but is that some sort of code where no means yes? Because this seems like the kind of extremely powerful device that Dr. Black would love to get his hands on. Well, that's why Dana's gonna keep it. Safest place for it is with someone Black no longer thinks exists. Besides, I trust her with it. So do I. I'll keep it safe. I promise. I'm, um, pretty good at keeping out of sight. Good. Cause I have a feeling we're gonna have to use that thing again. I have one question. I need a full letter word. S, L, blank, G. Slug. Slug. Oh, that fits. Thanks, guys. <laughs> One of the primary sources of light in slug terror, and therefore, one of our most valuable commodities. Your signature gives me the exclusive rights to all the ore in Lumino Cavern. I, of course, will set the price. That ore belongs to all of slug terror. <laughs> Not anymore. Those are Neotox slugs. No, those are Neurotox ghouls. And I think their presence should bring any negotiation to an end. Agreed. Oh, good. My apprentice will see to the details. And Twist, make sure to do it right. What are you waiting for? Sign it. <laughs> Here to renegotiate. You're not gonna use that. You know what it can do. You know what it can do, too. Yeah, we both saw Black take down the unbeatable master. But you're not Black. You don't think I got the guts? You think I'm just gonna let this whole deal go up in flames? <laughs> Loki! <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do if you ever stop falling for Loki's illusions. I'm not sticking around to be a victim. We got a bolt, bro. But oh, we're gonna be stone cold stone. Everybody in there's already a statue. We can trap the cloud with an ice wall. But those miners aren't gonna be saved by letting everyone in this cavern get turned to stone. That cloud 
it just kept growing and growing. Like some kind of freaky chain reaction. I'm willing to bet it has something to do with those Neotox being ghouls. How much time before it breaks through? I don't know, bro. Just taking a guess, I'd say this puppy's got... Oh, 10 hours, 22 minutes, and 31 seconds before... You know, give or take the five seconds it took to just say that. So, we've got 10 hours to find someone who knows about Neotox slugs and how to stop them. Only one slinger was ever twisted enough to make them his signature slug. Ugh, blight. And he hasn't been seen since your dad locked him up in the Cavern of Time. Huh. He'll have to do. Hold up, bro. The Cavern of Time is like an inescapable maze. Ha! What you are forgetting is that you have a Molinoid to lead you. Think you could get us in and out, Pronto? To find the way in and out of the Cavern of Time, it, it is every Molinoid's dream. Come, let us make history. Uh, <coughs> it's uh, actually the, uh, the other way. So, what's the story with Blight and my dad? His name definitely sounds familiar. Yeah, well, if you grew up in Slug Terra instead of up there, the name wouldn't sound familiar. It would sound terrifying. Blight's slinging style was brutal. He'd hit slingers with a Neotox and then leap into the cloud it created. Blight was protected by his gas mask, but the other slingers were anything but safe. He messed people up pretty bad. Nobody could outfight him. So Will Shane, he didn't even try. Your dad took a huge risk, Eli. But it worked. Blight didn't realize it was a trick until he was trapped. What happened to Blight after that? Nobody knows. It's a one-way trip into this place. Ah, a one-way trip to eternal fame! Yet, uh, by entering, we will put our very lives at risk. If there's a chance to save those miners and everyone else, that's a risk I'll take any day. But that doesn't mean you guys have to. And pass up the chance to document one of the most mysterious places in Slug Terra? Yeah, right. Considering how lost you'd be without me on a normal day, you really think I'd let you go in there without me? Ha-ha! <laughs> Pronto, too! Gladly looks dead in the eyes and says, Hey! Wait! You're missing my speed! stay together close together that's the least of our problems how are we gonna find our way back out problem ha! if you did not have the greatest tracker of all time perhaps but fear not pronto is using a secret ancient molinoid tracking method which is <laughs> if i told you it would no longer be a secret but trust me there is nothing to fear <laughs> Relax, Pronto. It's just a little dinosaur. <clears throat> I was uh, merely startled. Uh, leave this miniature menace to Pronto. Oh, I have deduced that they come in pairs. Not a problem. I can handle two primitive brains just as easily as... Uh, this, however, could be a problem. <laughs> Lovelinks, jellyish. Try them all. There's more than enough of these things to go around. We gotta bail. I'll clear out a path. Then we roll. Ready? <laughs> Needs a good exterminator. Okay, not quite the pest control I was hoping for. Run! Down here. Whoa! Or, you know, not. 
I'm guessing that's Blight. That's close enough, buddy! We must go. That thing will be angry when it... wakes. So, Eli, we're gonna follow the evil dude who may be a little, uh... Gloom? Well, it's that, or wait around to be eaten. Pronto would like to propose a third choice, but nothing comes to mind. It's been a long time since I've had... Had what? No victims? <laughs> company. <gasps> That's a good sign. He thinks of us as company. Every creature here is either food or... You know, trying to make you... You've been here for years, I can only imagine. Food. Huh? Food. Oh, my manners. I should have offered you the first bite. <laughs> it's just that you never know what may be poisonous. <laughs> My keen sense of observation tells me this fellow is, uh, how shall I say, utterly and completely out of his mind. Yeah, but he seems almost nice. You know, in a creepy, weird sort of way. Guys like him don't just change, no matter how long they've been cooped up in the land of the lost. Let's just hope he has enough sense left to help us. We're running out of time. Eli? Uh, yeah. So, uh, we noticed, you know, a thing or two about Neotox slugs, which is good, because we need someone with that kind of expertise. Ugh. We need your help. Uh, come with us to Lumino Cavern. <laughs> what? Come with you. You are as trapped here as I. We are all now lifelong residents of the Cavern of Time. What if I told you we have a way out? We'll lead you there. In exchange for your help with a mutant Neotox cloud that keeps getting bigger. Hmm. A way out. This cloud that won't go away, it's called a, a Neotox Fog. So you know what we're talking about? It happens if you fire too many Neotox at once. I... I can stop a Neotox Fog. You stop it, we'll give you your freedom. <laughs> uh, just a quick sec there, Mr. Blight. You sure about this, Eli? That man is completely out of his guard! Not to mention dangerous. Your dad trapped him in here. You gotta think he's still got a grudge against the Shane. But he doesn't know that's me now. And we're not gonna tell him. I know it's a risk, but it's the only way to save Lumino. Huh? Besides, if it comes down to it, I'm sure we can find a way to handle Blight. Uh, but just to be safe... We'll show you the way out, but first... You're gonna have to hand over your weapons. My reputation precedes me. For a way out, I would do it. Anything. Huh? Okay, Pronto. Now it's all on you and your ancient Molinoid secrets. Ah, well, in that case, we are mere moments from our exit. Oh. Ah, uh, Pronto? Can't help but notice that it's taking a little more than mere moments. <laughs> what well, that is because... 
because someone has stolen the trail. Stolen the trail? You mean you lost it? Pronto, we're running out of time. The beast has picked up our scent. Uh, <clears throat> yes, yes, uh, but this will not be a problem, because we can simply follow the trail that I, Pronto, have not lost. My molinoid tracking has been tampered with. I dropped breadcrumbs to mark our path, and now they are gone. Yeah, that was your ancient molinoid secret. Breadcrumbs? Yeah. my trail and then spit it out? You ungrateful beasts! Could you say that any louder? Blight may have missed the fact that we lost the trail. Maybe we could follow the dino yak, if we could see it. Ah, yes, well, unfortunately, Pronto can still smell it. That's it, Pronto. You're a genius. Uh, of course I am. Uh, because I... Can sniff our way out of here? That is right! <laughs> Again! There! This way! We are close! Whoa. That must be the exit! We made it! Let's go! We've got maybe a half hour before the ice wall breaks! Looks like time just ran out, bro. This fog was created by Neotox slugs. Cool, Neotox slugs. Things have changed since you've been gone. Right, what do we do? My gear. That wasn't the deal. First, take care of the Neotox fog. I can't take care of it without my blaster. No, the fog first. Save Lumino. Eli, the vines! The ghoul gas must have corrupted him. Blake's done his part. Let's do ours. Once again, it is up to Pronto and the Shane Gang to save Shane. Uh oh. Will Shane is no more. Replaced by a boy. His son, perhaps. I will have my revenge on you. <laughs> <laughs> Trusting Blight was a mistake, huh? Actually, I was kind of hoping this would happen. What? 
Did we get chopped to pieces by evil plants? That Blight had given me a reason to put him back in the cavern of time even after he kept his word. <laughs> right back where he belongs, the Cavern of Time! Stay back, foul cloud! Pronto will not be silent by... Pronto! Bugs scurrying for cover, only to be squashed. Oh, no, you don't! Blight. Don't worry, buddy. Let's just say he's doing some time. Please, Red Hook, can you at least take a look at Court Schematic? I know I can do it. I just need the blaster. I said it's impossible! The fusion is only a legend. It's just a wishful fantasy, like the universal slug or odorless plumbing. It's not a fantasy. I've seen it. Odorless plumbing? No, the fusion. The unbeatable master had the blaster and the talent to fire two perfectly timed synchronous slugs that merged into one even more powerful force. Then this master can perform it again and convince me. She can't because of black. He's developed a powerful new weapon of his own. And now she's gone. And by gone, I'm assuming not just out of town. The fusion may be the only thing that can match Black Scandler. And I have to learn it before Black repairs his weapon. But God, even if it is possible, what in Slug Terra makes you think you can achieve it? You're not the unbeatable master. You're barely a shame. And I'm not a master slinger smith like you, but I've tried to come up with a design for a specialized blaster that makes the fusion move possible for Eli. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, this does show an amateur's fumbling, but thoughtful attempt at resolving a complicated technical issue. I'm thinking of Zig Polish Pneumo Trigger with groove polymer wiring offers better replication properties. Please make them stop. You do realize, of course, you'll need to cross-match the curve-safe contouring on the firing pistons. Yeah. Ah, still impossible. A blaster like this would need a Vitalis crystal to control the synchronization. And they're hard to find? 
They're non-existent. The Vitalis was a power source back in the old days, but they were mined to extinction. <laughs> Last thing that used them was the air remodulator, but <laughs> good luck finding one of those. I know where we can find one. A cabin stack full of spare parts and surplus gear that's totally gonna blow your minds. Mind not blown. A junkyard? Not just any junkyard. A scrap heap! Of course, finding that part in here might take a little time. Like, uh, maybe a couple of years. Tell us there's an easy way to find things in this junk pile? Check it out. Air re maju lay tor. One in stock, located in deep storage. Excellent! So, uh, how do we get there? I've never been in that far before. Here! It's a map to deep storage, which is, according to the scale, a two-day trip. Excuse me, I am not packed for a two-day trip. And that's with mechas. This says they aren't allowed in deep storage. It'll take forever on foot. Hmm? If this is our alternative, I think I can get there faster on foot. That is because you do not understand this type of machine. Now, let Pronto's smooth piloting technique remove your concerns. So, what exactly is an air remodulator? Well, it's a device that scrubs and reoxygenates fouled interior atmosphere. You mean it's an air freshener? If you want to get all technical. Pronto, have you ever driven one of these before? No, but it is much like a tricycle I had as a child. Tricycles don't have joysticks. Yes, but mine had very cool handlebars. The brake! The brake! Uh -oh. This poses a small problem. <laughs> There's got to be a better way to deep storage. You want it faster than Pete? Pronto got you here faster than Pete! <laughs> this is deep storage? Most definitely. I have a nose for these things. We're at a totally new level of dust and stink. All in favor of finding that part fast and scramming out of here? Raise your hand. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, two words. Sounds like a uh, crazy troll. It's not charades. You've been following us. Why? Perhaps he wants my autograph. What do you want? We already got what we want. <gasps> we got you. <laughs> hey, guys. 
We're just customers They're looking for a part, and uh, we're a little lost. Well, this area is off limits without Boss Ember's permission. Then show us where we can find him, and we'll get his okay to be here, huh? <laughs> it's too late to ask him now. What's the penalty, boys? Hand over all your slugs and blasters, <laughs> and leave deep storage the way you came in. Nuh-uh. Not gonna happen. Then we'll take him anyway. These are good. I bet the boss would love to sling it out with them. Whoa, whoa, cease fire already, would ya? Who are you? The Shane Gang. Maybe you've heard of us. Yeah, well, maybe you've heard of us. We're the Tough Guys. Put a whole lot of thought into that name, didn't ya? See, I told you it sounds lame. How about calling yourselves the Junkyard Dogs? Or the Scrap Force? Oh, yeah. The Scrap Force is pretty good, Stragus. Scrap Force! How about you guys back off and let us find that part and get out of here? Parts here may be free, but the price to get them isn't. Hand over your blasters and slugs, and you can have all the junk you want. No deal. Fine by me. Prepare yourselves for a beatdown by the tough guys. Scrap Force. <laughs> An x or slug. It'll temporarily knock out anything electronic, including our blasters. And there's two. We didn't lose, but we didn't get nothing either. The boss ain't going to be happy. Maybe this'll put a smile on his face. The x metters effects are going to wear off soon. We got to find that air modulator thingy and get out of this junk pile. I lost the map. We have to go back. Not to fear. Pronto has a copy. Here, in his steely brains. Lead the way, Mr. Memory. You couldn't rob a little group of lost customers? Well, those customers knew their slug slinging. More than me? No, no, sir, Boss Ember. No one's as big and bad as you. They called themselves the Shane Gang? Shane. I know that name. A worthy opponent. Oh, uh, talking about gang names, uh, can we change ours to something cooler? Uh, I was thinking like, uh, the Scrap Force. <laughs> Would you? Uh, they seem pretty hot to get a hold of some gadget. Right here. Hmm. If the Shane Gang is after it, it must be valuable. Take this, bring me the gadget, and bring me them. Uh, but boss, those slug slingers... ...are a challenge. You can either take your cut when I sell the part, or you can be cut into parts for sale. Now get out before you make me puke. Oh, one more thing. Go with Scrap Force. So much better than the tough guys. Yes, I knew it. It's not accounting for a water stain on the map. This way, for sure. Go 
Come on, get up, get up! You sure that water stain isn't water on the brain? You can find it, Pronto. Focus your steely brains. Pronto cannot be wrong. His memory and tracking skills are exceptional. Only exceeded, of course, by his reputation as Molinoid of the Dance. Huh? That's it! It's there! The air Majuetsit is in one of those cabinets? It was not a water stain on the map. It was a drawing of a water leak. This must be the one. Not here? But then where? <laughs> Were you looking for this? The air remodulator. Come on, guys. It's not worth anything to you. We'll let Boss Ember decide what it's worth and what you're worth. Try anything funny and we'll trash your machine! Uh, not bad, not bad. It's not often that blasters of this quality pass through here. You puke-inducing leeches managed to do something good for once. Yeah, but we're much better now that we're known as the uh, Scrap Force. See? I told you a cooler name would help. Yeah, having a good gang name is paramount. Speaking of names, you're Eli Sheen, aren't you? Who's asking? You must have heard of me. I'm Boss Ember. Nope. Never. Not the clue. Boss what? Then let me explain. I am the gatekeeper of deep storage. No object or customer leaves without going through me first. Self-appointed, right? You're just shaking people down because no one ever patrols this part of the scrap heap. <laughs> Clever kid. And knowing who you are, this old gadget must have some high value I'm not aware of. It's an air freshener. We live with a cave troll. Uh, even so, I think I'll keep it and put it on the open market. Maybe Dr. Black would be interested in bidding on it. How much do you want? In this case, reputation is more important than money. I fancy myself quite the slug slinger, and I hear your abilities make you an interesting challenge. So here's the deal, Shane. You and me, one on one. I lose, you get the gadget. I win. I get your blasters, slugs, and the reputation. Piece of cake. That little gas bag can barely hold a blaster. Okay, Ember. Bring it on! Oh, I may have neglected to mention a small detail about our one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, more of a one plus. Finally, a duel with someone who doesn't make me want to puke. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Wait. Told you he was good. You toads are easily impressed. Now watch a master at work. <laughs> Just stand there. Help me take him down. That's cheating. So I'm not a role model. <laughs> we got your back, Eli. <laughs> Being outslugged! Huh? We can win as long as they 
don't use that x meter slug. Huh? They'd never try that again. They're not that smart. <laughs> ha! You lose! No, you idiot! <laughs> I'm fired, right? Bring down the house! <laughs> <laughs> you can't even hit a target as big as me! I wasn't aiming at you. <laughs> well, my slugs beat you, so I win. Fair and square. Didn't you stop them? Yeah, uh, well, they won fair and square, didn't they? I'll take them down myself! You're all fired! Great! Just great! Now what are we gonna do? You think maybe top floor storage needs a gang? That railway is our only sure way out of here! Hmm. Pronto detects the faint smell of axle grease? <laughs> of metal wheels upon metal track coming from... Pronto! Over here! Aha! Found it. Make it happen, Pronto. Just give me a push. That's the Pronto. He's gaining on us. I can't! The motor's still out because of that x meter slot. And so are our blasters. Speed. Get him in that hole. Slugs away. Where does that hole lead to? Deepest storage. Remember? Pronto still has the map. In here. And look <laughs> what we've got here. The x -Mitter slug. Hey, stowaway. Welcome aboard. <sighs> From now on, I get all my parts by mail order. Oh, not only a Vitalis crystal, but one from an unused air remodulator. Therefore, it's still at full strength. <laughs> Very promising. But a crystal and a blueprint made out of guesswork ain't gonna get you to the fusion anytime soon, if ever. Then let's hope Dr. Black has a long way to go to fix his Gatler. Because if he gets it working soon, we won't have anything to stop him. <laughs> I said. This happens from time to time. Huh? How's it looking out there? Let me check. Cover me. I love Ganook slugs. Huh? 
Oh man, here comes Dr. Black. Got him pinned down, boss! Keep moving forward. They have no place else to run. Here they come! I don't see any way out! And Frumpo will fight to his last slog! Unfortunately, that would be him. Eli, they're trying to push us backwards. Towards that! The Great Abyss! Dr. Black thinks he's got this game all figured out. Well, we're gonna bend the rules a little. Follow me! <laughs> Eli, this goes to the gorge. It's a dead end. Black wants us in that gorge? Let's give him exactly what he wants. Even if they did survive the fall, there is no hope for them now. We're moving out. That's not something I expected to find here. What do you think it is? I've seen one of these before. It looks just like the drop. If the Shanes could build an elevator from the surface to Slug Terra, they could also build one from Slug Terra to down here. <laughs> Why would a Shane want to come here? I am so glad you asked. For Pronto has devised a most convincing theory. You see? Pronto! Shh! Hmm? What do you think it is? No idea. Whatever it is, they're pretty eager to get down there. Come on! different about them. All I know is that's one heck of a force field. I don't think I want to know what it's holding back. Why? Shadow Clan. Everyone, stay calm. Don't make any sudden moves. I'm just gonna put this on so I can understand you, okay? Who are you? How have you come to possess the Shadow Talker? Answer! I'm Eli Shane. It belonged to my father. What is this place? The very edge of Slug Terra. You have arrived at a crossing. And just in time. Crossing? To where? The Deep Caverns. Home of the Dark Bane. 
Our guardian slugs help keep their armies at bay. Guardian slugs? The most powerful slugs of all. He says the constant attacks on the Force Wall is sapping their strength. More Guardians are on the way, but he's not sure how long they can keep this up. It could fall at any moment. Can our slugs help? You have powerful slugs indeed. Very impressive. But they're not ready to be Guardians yet. Then we're just gonna have to find a way to stop whatever's doing this until the cavalry arrives. I know of no other way to reinforce this wall. I'm not talking about reinforcing. We have to fight back. You would risk your lives for this? We're the Shane Gang. That's what we do. We cannot risk opening the passage. But this Shadow Walker will transport you inside. Do you want the good news or the bad news? It's a one-way trip, isn't it? He says this won't work once we're inside. What's the good news? We get to save Slug Terra from unspeakable evil? According to him, if the Dark Bane army breaks through, we'll never be able to stop them. Well then, what are we waiting for? Move quickly. Go. Welcome to the Deep Caverns, people. That must be the Dark Bane. Surrender, or face oblivion! These guys throw lava. Dark water! You will come with us. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice. <laughs> Sort of makes you miss the ghouls. Eli, look! I see it. That's the sun. We don't have many opportunities to accept visitors here. Your guardian slugs see to that. Who are you? I am Brimstone, High Commander of the Darkbane. Why are you here, Midlanders? You've been trying to knock down our force field. We came to stop you. And how is that going? Could be better. But right now, an army of guardian slugs is on the way to defend the passage. They may already be there. <laughs> then so be it. Even if our behemoth fails, we have other ways to reach the realm above. And when Slug Terra is laid waste, our path continues to take back what is ours. We will have everything. We'll stop you. All of Slug Terra will. Strong words coming from a boy. Your force field is at the breaking point. A legion of Darkbane are preparing for the final assault. 
There is very little you can do, except watch. Ah, that explains things. He says he knows you. He says you are a shame. It makes you useful to me. And that young shame just saved all your lives. Find them a room. They can keep their worthless slugs. It will remind our guests how helpless they really are here. How do you know who I am? At least tell me your name. It's only fair. We can't let them keep us here, Eli. That behemoth could break through the force field any minute. I know. I hope at least they provide comfortable beds. My back can't handle another prison slab. Doesn't look good, Eli. There's gotta be a way to make our slugs work down here. Some way to counteract the dark energy. Dark water? You can't be serious. Come on, if he has an idea, let's hear it. There may be a way to use our slugs down here. We'd have to ghoul them. <gasps> That's actually a good idea. <laughs> What? Ghouls are fueled by the evil energy in dark water. The same energy that's keeping our slugs from transforming. As ghouls, they'd probably be immune. <laughs> the mechanics behind ghouling are pretty simple. I can mod up blasters to do it. <gasps> they won't be as powerful as the ghouls Dr. Black uses, but they'll still pack a punch. <gasps> I can't believe you guys would even consider this. It goes against everything we've been fighting for. And now we're fighting against that. Sometimes you gotta bend the rules. And they don't seem conflicted. Doc can cure them as soon as we get home. I get it. But there has to be a rule that even we won't bend. This seems pretty close. Are you sure you guys are up for this? Okay. But we don't have much time. <laughs> Sorry about this, Burpee. by evil sort of way. Burpee? Some things never change. Guys, a little light show may have attracted some attention. We'll fight our way straight to the force field and use our ghouls to stop the behemoth. Remember, everyone, there's dark water in here. Be careful. Careful is Pronto's middle name! Surrender or face oblivion! 
Yeah, we heard that one before. <laughs> Head to the wall! Go! <laughs> nice work, Chiller. That's the last of them. Okay, everyone, let's stop that behemoth. It's just too big. Our ghouls are like gnats. So how are we gonna bring that thing down? <laughs> Can't take it down, aim for the rider. Whoa. You've made use of our dark water, I see. It's becoming very popular. <laughs> oh, you're not the first of your kind to come here. I've dealt with humans before, even the Shanes. Strike again! The force field is failing! The Guardian slugs are weak! Save the day this time, Doc. You have done a terrible thing, corrupting the essence of these slugs. 
Almost unforgivable. If it makes you feel any better, it was their idea. He says that earlier, when he told us our slugs weren't ready to be guardians, he missed one. There is no greater honor for a slug than to serve as a guardian. We're proud of you, Doc. And we'll see you again soon. I promise. Finally in motion. No one can stand in her way. Uh, sir, there is someone standing in our way. <gasps> Wish I could see the look on Black's face when he realizes they're alive. Full burn ahead. So, uh, how do we stop this mighty, mighty train? Uh, you know, that's a good question. B? Yeah. Mount up and slug it out. Yeah, we should probably just call that plan A. Whatever we call it, let's oh. do it. <laughs> we cannot keep up such speed for long. Then let's slow that thing down. Court. Plan C? But you have to ask. <laughs> we didn't even make a dent in that thing. Eli, go for the wheels! Yep, Plan D. I'm on it! Banger? Bang it! Yeah. <laughs> Why is everything he makes so cool? I'm thinking derailing might not be an option here. Everyone, plan E! Eli, look out! <laughs> I was sure you perished when you fell into the great abyss. Once again, you have disappointed me. That's what makes my job so fun. Well, my job has its perks as well. Saving up for this. Or he found a new way to make them. <laughs> we 
can't stop the train from back here. Trixie, Pronto, you guys fan out. Plan F? All aboard. What? Huh? You want to get off here? Okay. No. <laughs> If Brack destroys the forge, it sure won't make more Mega Beasts anytime soon. Which means Slug Terra will be even more dependent on the Slug Terran Express. And Whack! And? I got nothing. Be forge in range in 500 meters! We gotta stop this train before the Gatler's in range of the forge. Call Grendel as a precaution. Grendel, you've gotta get everyone out of the forge. Huh? Why? How much time do we have? Not enough. 450 meters? We're out of time, and we've already thrown everything we got at him. Not everything. We gotta use the double barrel. I need to try a fusion shot. What? No way! You can't. We haven't tested it yet. 200! Then consider this a test. You guys ready? <laughs> uh, sorry, Enigmo. I don't think your blurry vision's gonna help right now. <laughs> In range! Cord, cover me. Black, this is your last chance to give up. Ha. You still think you can stop me? No. I know I can stop you because I have this. <laughs> what? <laughs> What happened? I don't know. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Are you guys all right? Uh, no good lazy slugs? It's not their fault. I think that energy wave shorted them all out. <laughs> Too bad it didn't have the same effect on my ghouls. <laughs> that show because it's the last thing you'll ever see <laughs> well Eli Shane now that you're about to suffer your final fate do you have any last oh forget that goodbye the shadow clan <laughs> 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 Huh? You stay with Black! I'll be okay! You okay, sir? Far better than a shame. Looks like he's about to suffer a fate worse than I could have dealt him. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. We're finished here. Head for Lumino Cavern next. What about the rest of the Shane gang? They may still be out there. Without Eli Shane, they're nothing. Hunting them down would be a waste of ghouls. Trix, we gotta go after Eli. No! You heard Black. If he gets to Lumino, he'll do the same thing he did to the Forge. We gotta stop that train. Besides, Eli is with the Shadow Clan, so he should be fine. Hopefully. Maybe. Well, at least there's a chance. Son of 
feel shame. We sense the disturbance created by your weapon. It is reckless to combine two slugs whose auras are not aligned. Wait, what? Aligned? Auras? So, you guys know why the double barrel blaster didn't work. You gotta tell me so I can use it to stop Black. There is no tell. You either see or you do not. See? See what? All I saw were two slugs combined into something really cool. Then things went kinda... haywire. An improper combination of slugs can have severe, devastating effects. Like, causing all the slugs in the area to short out. That is but one danger. There are others. Far worse. Okay, Proto hits the point of the obvious, but seeing as how we could not stop that train when we had our best slinger and our slugs actually worked, we are going to stop Black. How? by beating him to the brake line bridge. Black's train has to come across here to get to Lumino. If we can get there first, we might be able to stop him without a big slinging battle. Yeah, nice plan, Trix, but how are we gonna do that? His super fast train has a super huge head start. Yeah, if only we had a stellar tracker who knew shortcuts and secret passages. Mm, yes, that would be very advantageous. Hey, wait a minute! I'm right in front of you! Ah-ha-ha! Touché! Follow me. Please! Black has a new weapon. You saw it! He's using it to take whatever he wants. No one can stop him. You gotta show me the right way to combine my slug so I can. Fine. My friends are out there, probably trying to stop Black right now. If you won't help me, I'll just go figure it out myself. If you insist on using this weapon, you must prove to us you can master it, no matter how long that takes. What? No! My friends are in danger. So unless someone here thinks they can stop me... Okay, then. It's the bridge! Nice work, Mo Man. Proto always delivers. His shortcuts, like his modesty, are a thing of legend. Time for you to deliver, Cord. Black's train is gonna be here any second. You know, it's pretty offensive to assume I know bridges just because I'm a troll. Don't you? Well, of course I do. Hmm. I need to take out those supports. Oh. I don't think he's got enough pop in him. They're coming! Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. on the other side of the ravine when we blew up the bridge. Hmm. Come on, guys. Help me out. 
how do I figure out which of you match? <laughs> now, that's just wrong. <laughs> no, Enigmo, I don't want to smell you. <laughs> Ow! What the heck? Dude? I hope you're here to give me a clue. The answer is in your grasp. <sighs> Enough with the riddles. This is no riddle. The answer is in your grasp. You. Thanks, little buddy. Now, the matching part? Uh, hmm. Nope. <laughs> Thresher and a forge smelter, huh? Bingo! Buzzsaw, Torch, you guys ready? <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Unarmed, I see. I was expecting a bit more of a fight from the miners of Lumino. We heard about the Beast Forge. Oh, yes. There was uh, some sort of accident, I hear. What a pity. But what can you expect, given the inferior machines they used to produce? We'd like to avoid any accidents here. Lumino Cavern is willing to surrender our mine to your control if you don't hurt our people. <laughs> Uh, what makes you think I want your mine? I found my own Lumino Ore Quarry. You're the competition now. And I have little need for competition. <laughs> Eli Shane? What can I say? Guess I'm still a constant source of disappointment, huh? No. This is my fault. I always clean up my own mess. Blaster still needs time to recharge before I can go double barrel again. But I can still do this. How did you escape the Shadow Clan? Escape? They let me go. They're pretty cool guys once you get to know them. Keep your Shadow Clan secrets. They won't be doing you any good for much longer. <laughs> so now, one final time, I ask, any last words? Nah. We like to let our slugs do the talking. <laughs> So, given the 
next visit with the Shadow Clan? I'll tell you about it later. Right now, I'm ready to go double barrel. Whoa, whoa, last time you did that, it shorted out all our slugs. Do it again and we're dead meat. I don't have time to explain. You have to trust me. Slug Black's Gatla. It's a total game changer. So the Shadow Clan showed you how to use it? Nope. This guy showed me. <laughs> It'll take some practice with Enigma to figure out all the different fusion moves these slugs can do. And hopefully someday, I'll be as powerful as the unbeatable master. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I'm as good as... I know what you're saying. I just have no idea what you're thinking. You're nuts, dude. You know that, right? <laughs> there seems to be an epidemic of returning from the grave. Hello, Black. Diablos Nacho. I suppose you have a message for me. Not a message, a warning. Uphold your end of our bargain, or there will be consequences. You made a deal with my master. I'm back to make sure you honor it. Welcome back to a special Slugmat presentation of the Slugball Championship. Brought to you by our new sponsor, Black Industries. Black Industries, bringing you tomorrow's yesterday, today. I'm Bob Johnson, as always, with me, my co-host, Blast Vanderhuge. Blast! It's been quite a week for Slugball, Bob. Taking us all the way to the semifinals and just one game away from the Slugball Cup. If you're just joining us, the Beast Ford Shock and Rollers just scored against the Deadweed Miners, giving them a 3-0-1 lead. Replay. Team Captain Grendel out in front with a perfect play. There wasn't a miner in sight. That is how you do it, Bob. That is how you do it. Time out on the field, and it looks like Grendel's using it to, to visit with the fans. Ah, you need it! Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> Cord even brought his glove, hoping he'll catch a loose ball. Get out of town, you play? Well, you know, just for fun. Mostly when I was a kid. Cord's being modest. I've seen him play. He could totally go pro if he wanted to. <laughs> Shucks. Thanks. Joining us here in the booth, the commissioner of Slugball himself, Primo Presto. The pleasure's all mine. How about those rollers? They get their whole cavern blown up during the Beast Forge accident and turn to Slugball to find meaning in their broken, empty lives. It kind of makes you tear up, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Inspiring. And now they're this close to the finals, where they'll face off against defending champions, the Blade City Brutes. A team recently purchased by Dr. Black, no less. How do you respond to the rumors that Black was involved in the destruction of the Beast Forge? <laughs> I'm not one to comment on rumors, especially when Dr. Black is involved. And play him a song, kiddies. Thanks for the seats. And we're back into it. First period, 3-1 rollers. You can really feel the tension between these two rival captains, can't you? Here we go. The shock and rollers take possession. 32 passes to 15. Miners firing heavy hitters. 
15 dodges one, can't avoid the other, but is able to get the ball to Ryder 63. Track deployment. 63 definitely makes his way through them, so the miners start slinging. Ah, ooh, a frost crawler to the midsection. And that'll cool his jets, Bob. What's this? Oh, look at that. He decides sketching a dog back. If the shock and rollers keep playing at this level, Bob, they're going to make a real run for the cup. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Grendel on a run up the middle. He's avoiding the random obstacles like he knows what's coming. But he isn't alone as two miners give chase. Yeah. Ooh. Grendel on the approach and... Welcome to Trap Deployment City. Look at all those traps, Bob. Grendel! It's all part of the game. Intense situation, but Team Captain Grendel quickly gets off an erect net slug, and he's safe. No pedicure for the captain this time, Bob. Is that part of the game? Actually, no. <laughs> Stay away! Don't touch it! Dude, no one's touching it. Good! Keep not touching it! <laughs> You'd think a professional athlete would be able to take the pain better. And yet, not so much. The universe is full of surprises. We checked the circuit board from the arena trap that malfunctioned. The wires were frayed just enough to break during the game. What are you saying? This was sabotage? Huh? That's exactly what I'm saying. It's got to be Black's team. We know he's not above cheating. Hang on, I know the brutes. They're a little rough and tumble, sure. But they're slugball players, not cheaters. Whoa, whoa, everybody just slow down. I don't like where this is headed. Sabotage, cheaters. Grendel, baby, you know I respect you, but your little tykes just can't go throwing accusations around. You get proof, then we'll talk. All right, Primo, you want proof? You got it. But Eli, this is the finals. What about the game? <laughs> I got bad news for you, kid. You see, your friend's team needs four players. With him out of the game, that means you're one short, which means forfeit. What about the reserve players? There are no reserve players. Took half our roster just to make it here to the semifinals. We're all that's left. Well, there's always next year. Not so fast. According to the official Slugball rulebook, any substitution can be made from a non-registered hmm? player at any time, provided it's approved by the team captain. In case you hadn't noticed, Grendel, that's you. Can I see that? Well, what do you know? Then we can still win this game. We just need someone who knows Slugball well enough to be half decent out there. Hmm. Huh? What? I'm being told there's a substitution on the part of the rollers. That makes this as good a time as any to go over the official rules of intercavern slugball. On either side of the arena, there's a goal. Each of them is magnetized just like the player's gloves. Players can use any slug they want to stop another player or get them a goal. Boom, bam, just like that. And as if all that weren't enough, players also have to contend with one last obstacle, a series of automated arena traps randomly programmed by the first class technicians in game control. Hey, Dan, do you know how to get mustard stains out? I just use sandpaper. Welcome back. It's the start of the second period, and the rollers still lead three to one. <laughs> I don't know how long this lead's going to last, Bob. Look at that rookie. Yes. And we're on. <laughs> Miner number 57 slips past roller defense. And go! Miner's climbing back up the charts, Bob. Roller's rookie Cordzade has possession. But he's taking the ball into the gauntlet, Bob. This newbie has a lot to learn about slugball. 
He clears a piston trap, but the miner isn't so lucky. <laughs> oh, close call through the fryers. Deeks the blades, and he's out. That's right, Bob. Out like a light. Ouch. You okay, Cord? You don't have to do this. Are you kidding? Getting clobbered in a slugball championship is a lifelong dream. 64 with a long pass to 98, and it's another goal, tying it up three to three. What a game! Miners again with possession. 57 has a clear shot. Here goes nothing. But wait, rookie roller number 28 out of nowhere. Cord kid yet, Bob. Well done, rookie. Now how about you pass it? Oh, right, yeah, got it. <laughs> rookie 28 in an incredible move. Passes the ball and the rollers are moving forwards. Traps activated and the rollers stop dead in his tracks. Whoa, 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 that's not right. We got a massive deployment in quadrant three. Looks like every single obstacle is firing. That's not right. Manual override, dial it back! None of the control switches are responding! I tell you, Bob, that oh. kid's making it look easy! Hey, I'm doing it! I'm really doing it! Right! Can the celebration and stay with me. Stick close and watch for ramps. Yeah, ramps. Wow. Ramps deploy. <laughs> I love this part! I hate this part. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, unpaid electric bill for number 28. It's lights out, baby! Time out on the field. Number 28, Cord Zane, has taken a big hit and seems to be out cold. Oh, I know how that feels, Bob. Cord? Hmm? Cord, can you hear me? <laughs> Eli, is that you? Yeah. It's me. Are you all right, dude? Have we lost yet? Uh, nope. <laughs> then let's get this show on the road! Yeah! That was lucky. That trap targeted Cord. I know Black and the Brutes are behind this. We've got to get some proof. <laughs> nice, yes. nice. Ah, you, know that. <laughs> you ask me, this whole thing is fishy. I mean, Black's been into some heavy-duty stuff lately. Blowing things up, taking over caverns, the big leagues. Now he's rigging a sports game? I'd hate to say it, but it's almost beneath him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eli? Well, well. <laughs> Look what we have here. A rat. You like digging through other people's possessions, rat? I couldn't quite hear that. <laughs> then maybe I should speak up. Why, you little... Hey, cool it. We don't want any trouble. You're the one with the blaster, Missy. And cool or not, your friend was the one going through Thrasher's stuff. Cool it. I wouldn't be going through your stuff if the Blade City Brutes weren't cheating. I don't have to take that from a pipsqueak like you. Listen, Mr. Thrasher, was it? There's clearly been a misunderstanding, so I'm just gonna take my friend and go, okay? <sighs> Well, you were right. That was a huge waste of time. Nah. How do you figure? Shane's always missed the subtle solution. While you were scrapping with Thumper, I pulled this from his locker. What is it? Yeah! Yeah! Miners score again, giving them a 5-3 lead. Down by two. Final timeout. What this team needs is one of Pronto's Famous pep talks. Let me tell it to you as clean as I can. This is a team they say is good. Yeah, let's get it! Yeah! <laughs> Works every time. It's a soldering tool. As in the kind you'd use to sabotage the circuit boards on the arena traps. Oh, yeah. This doesn't prove anything. You know Thresha likes to work on mechas, right? Huh. <sighs> Look, kid, it's your friend. I sympathize, but slugball is a dangerous game. 
Doesn't mean anything more than that. My suggestion to you is to go back out there and enjoy the game. Go! Rollers tied up in the third period. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. 5-5, five, five, just seconds on the clock. It all comes down to this. Whoever scores is going up against the Brutes in the finals. Miners on the approach. Great pass to 17, nearly offside there. Brawler's moving in, but it's no good as the Miners continue forward. This is championship level playing, Bob. Rookie Cork Zane blasts an arachnid slug. It's an effective play, Bob, but a dime a dozen defensive move. But what is this? Thank you. Hoopy doodle, the rookie's got the cookie, Bob. <laughs> What a play. But 57 defenseman gets out of the shot. And it's... Goal! Yes! <laughs> Against all odds, the Shock and Rollers are in the finals. I tell you, Bob, I haven't been this excited since the mustard stain came out of my favorite trousers. We did it, guys! Um, Cord? None of them are in any shape to play. Which means the Brutes will win the cup. <sighs> Eli, this is ridiculous. Asking Cord to play was one thing, but this is just crazy. Well, what do you want to do? Just let Black's team cheat their way to the cup? You did say you told Primo how they cheated. Maybe he'll do something about it. You honestly think Primo will do something about it? If the Shock and Rollers forfeit, the Brutes get the cup. It might seem intimidating, but deep down, this game is about slug shooting. That's what we do every day. This is exactly like normal. Just televised and hovering with 40,000 screaming fans. Oh, man. Good talk, Eli. Really inspiring. <clears throat> Allow me. This is a team they say is good. What I think. We're better than that! Wait! You need to be inspired! And we're back with the Intercavern Slug Bowl Championship, where in a surprise substitution, Eli Shane and his gang will be going head-to-head -head with Dr. Black's Blade City Brutes for the Slug Bowl Cup. Blast, as an ex-player and Slug Bowl fan, this has got to make you happy. Seeing outclass newbies crushed on the playing field always makes me happy, Bob. Any last words, Rat? I make it a rule not to talk to cheaters. I didn't cheat. But I tell you what, you believe what you want. It'll lessen the sting when we bring home the cup. L-Block RPMs are looking a little high. They might want to turn All that- All of you, out, now. Sir, it's the championship. The players are in the arena. And you know what they got that you don't? Jobs! Now go, go, move it! Let's see some hustle, people! <laughs> Here we go! Roots captain gets possession! This Shane kid's in over his head, Rob! I've never seen a trap like this before! Yeah, all right, buddy. We should be careful. Something tells me that trap isn't exactly regulation. Brute's captain easily makes his way forward. Such dexterity, such soul! He lines up his shot and goal! The Brutes get the first goal of the finals. Rollers substitute rider number 13, Pranto Jeremy Mole. Doesn't look good. Ah, shouldn't even have the ball, Bob. He should be passing it. <laughs> Laser loop to the backside, Bob. Loose ball recovered by Thrasher. Oh, huh? Thrasher. You dropped your ball, buddy. Oh, no! I hope she has a good dentist. <laughs> Eli Shane fires a defensive frost crawler, which takes out a couple of brutes. Am I imagining, or are these traps getting worse? <laughs> Look out! You, you saved me. But then, you, you didn't, I mean... I told you, we weren't cheap. But the soldering tool, I found it in your locker. I found that under the arena. I was gonna confront the League about it before you took it. But if it wasn't you, then who? 
team up. Where do you think you're going? To catch a rat. Hey, you get back here. We got a game to finish. <laughs> Primo, wait. I have to talk to you. I uh, can't talk now. I'm late for a dentist appointment. Try late again. <laughs> <laughs> Now maybe we can talk? <sighs> You'll never take me alive, kid. I'm really starting to not like this guy. What did Black give you to fix the games, Primo? Is it money? <laughs> money? You're a cut-up, kid. Nah, I did a pro bono, real smart-like. You mean you helped Black cheat for free? Why? Because Black Star is on the rise. You think he's gonna stop with Slugball? Thaddeus Black is gonna own this world. Maybe more. Having him owe me a favor? That's just good business. Nice knowing you, kid. <laughs> that guy gives our sport a bad name. Thrasher! Wait, why aren't you in the arena? You left. Figured I'd keep the numbers even. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to win by technicality. Okay, tie score, 30 seconds on the clock. This has to be it. I don't think we can beat these guys in OT. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the ball back, which I do have an idea on. Once we do that, it's straight down the middle. But we only have one working mecha beast. I know, which is why you'll be towing both of us. Eli's the one that's good with speeches, so I'll just say this. We can do it. 30 seconds left in the finals. It's 1-1, and the Brutes have possession. The Shane Gang are cruising for a boozing, Bob! <laughs> Eli Shane blasts off an Inferno Slug. Keeping the Brutes in check as Trixie and Court move up and over the trapped Brutes. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? I'm being told it's a Slick Silver Slug. Transforms into a giant living ball of magnetized metal. Just like my skull. If I'd have thought of that back when I was playing, might not have had to retire and broken down shame. Come on, where are you? Cord's got the ball, and here come the brutes. Eli! Only seconds left. have won the Slugball Championship Cup! Cord, that was amazing! What can I say? What can I say? It's a game of great subtlety and finesse. I gotta admit, I had my doubts about you, Eli. But you and your friends more than earned this. Thanks, but this doesn't belong to the Shane Gang. to me. I got rights. I want to talk to my lawyer. Hello? Is there anyone there? Relax, Mr. Presto. Don't strain yourself. Dr. Black, I don't understand. I mean, I helped you. I tried to make it so your team won. I was just trying to help. By making people think I need to cheat to win. Huh. That is something I'd rather not advertise. What? What's gonna happen to me? Oh, I'm sure I'll find some use for you, eventually. Dr. Black! Don't leave me here! Dr. Black! Sir, you and your gang have been here over a week and... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that should settle the bill, my good man. Lord, what's the customary percentage for a tip? You know I can't, man. I don't know about you, but I feel generous. Should we say, mm, 20%? <clears throat> 
my unsurpassed tracking abilities can guarantee that lock and load are extraordinarily near. You sure, Pronto? <laughs> Reasonably certain. Uh, uh. Let's go! Hold on, son. We don't need your help today. Huh? Are you serious? We have our own hometown hero, you know. Been out adventuring in Outland Reach for the past few weeks. But the second he gets back, he'll run these thugs out of town quick. You'll see. He's the greatest slug slinger there ever was. Ever! Really? Huh? Well, can't wait to meet him. Who is he? Huh? Here he comes now! Huh? Am I a sight for sore eyes or what? More like sore ears. Hey, everybody! Did you miss me? The King of Sling? They're gonna send him against Lock and Load? This is not gonna end well. King? <laughs> what kind of a king of sling would I be if I couldn't dismiss a couple of ruffians? <laughs> you and I have dueled before, you know, and you lost to me like three times in a row. That's for your yapping. That's for your flapping. And that one wins me the duel. <laughs> yes, Trixie. All part of a strategy to build overconfidence in my opponents. Like the time I defeated the Twisted Man and his little twin in a duel that lives in legend. But you've heard the story. Oh, oh, I'm never it. tired of hearing this book. You may hear more tales of my losing tactic from other slingers. I get it. Can I speak to you in private? Uh, your majesty? Huh? I get that you're the hero of this cavern and that everybody looks up to you. Well, they do indeed. There's not a lot of excitement this far off the beaten track. For so many people, I represent hopes and dreams, adventure, and a life of wonder. Yeah, I get that, but those guys in that cafe aren't just any slingers. They're some of Dr. Black's top henchmen. Uh, listen, Eli, I, I know that my slinging skills aren't what they used to be. Or ever were. But if you go in there and save the town like you always do, where does that leave me? King of Sling! King of Sling! King These people expect me to save them. It's my job. It's all I have. Eli, you can't just let him walk in there and face those guys alone. They'll eat him alive and use his knuckle bones for toothpicks. Maybe there's another way. And if this works out, we'll get lock and load out of the town without firing a single shot. Shane Gang can change that. You're right. We're doomed. Eli, I told you that I had this handled. Stand back and let me take care of these hooligans. <laughs> and you would be? Tell them, folks. The King of Sling! King of Sling? Seriously, you've never heard of a hero? 
of the outland reach. So fearsome that even Thaddeus Black is afraid to speak his name. I've never heard Dr. Black talk about this guy. Exactly. He beat me six times in a row with a busted blaster and a pair of sick floppers. <laughs> you guys are so doomed now. Uh, sorry, King. We know you have this covered. Uh, we'll just get out of your way. Who? <laughs> you think this guy's as good as they say? Well, we were lucky to get a drop on the chain gang just now. If this King's a better slinger than them... Perhaps we should regroup elsewhere before that claim can be proven. That's it. Back away. Perhaps you'd like a little parting gift. Huh? The shake, rattle, and run. You will run if you know what's good for you. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> And for the finale, the Star Spangled Screamer! Mama. Huh? This might have been a mistake. Thank you, babies. Thank you very much. Had enough, boys? Here it comes. We're not dead! We're barely even scratched! He's nothing but a flashy charlatan! And a big biker, too! <laughs> you put on a pretty show, but let's see how you do against raw ghoul power. <laughs> Eli! No, Trixie. If we help him now, he'll totally lose face. <laughs> Your turn, brother! At least he'll have a face to lose. Those two are gonna annihilate him. Well, this was amusing, but all good things come to an end. Including you, King. You can't just let him get blasted. Huh? I'm fine. Huh? Nothing to worry about. Come on. You didn't think I'd let Locke blast him, did you? Like the king said, nothing to worry about. Winner takes the spoils, king! Your castle will make a fine headquarters for the newest outpost of Black Industries. <laughs> Are you worried now? Cause I am. By taking control of this cavern, you've also secured the only known entrance to the Outland Reach. Those unexplored caverns hold a great many mysteries I intend to unlock. You too may have proven useful after all. Uh, and we even ran off the Shane Gang! <laughs> what? You said you had this covered. Do you play me for a fool? No, sir, Dr. Black. We got lucky. They left the defense of the cavern to a local fella. He won't be a problem anymore. This place is sewn up tight. Good. And should things unravel, you'll answer to me. Personally. I don't understand. Nobody beats the King of Sling. That's what you've always told us. This must be part of that losing tactic you were talking about, right? Indeed, child. I've tested their resolve, and they've proven to be worthy adversaries. I will now retreat, uh, uh tactically withdraw to consider my next move. Now, uh, can somebody get me out of this thing? Anyone? You still there, kid? How could you interfere, Eli, after I asked you not to? You wouldn't be here right now if I didn't. At least I'd have gone out in a blaze of glory. 
instead of being an embarrassment to my people. When you gonna run those deadbeats out of your castle, King? I can't wait for the rematch! Sounds to me like they're eager to give you another shot. And this time, you're gonna hit the bullseye. I am? He is? Yes, you are. But when you do, you're gonna stick to the plan. Huh. And what is the plan? The king's gonna march into his castle, take out the guards, and send lock and load packing for good. At least, that's what it's gonna look like. Huh. Why all the sneaking around, Eli? We can't get recognized. Lock and load and the rest of the cavern think we've left. This won't work unless it looks like it's the king who's saving the day. Will he be saving it? Well, kind of. Um, problem. <laughs> Do these shoes go with my outfit or are they too matchy-matchy? You're gonna look beautiful, Pronto. What's important is that we blend in so nobody can see that the king's getting a little boost from the Shang Gang. I know that some of you are confused, but don't worry. I'm gonna take back my castle and give those villains a beating that will become as legendary as the time I defeated the Twisted Man and his little twin. Have I told you that one? Oh, I oh, love oh, this story. Oh, the king's got the town on board. We just need to be inside the castle before he gets there. What about Lock and Load and all their guards? Seriously? We've busted into tougher places before breakfast. Here we go. I got this. I got it. Make sure you have a front row seat. This will be a duel for the ages. What a dump. <sighs> Agreed, brother. It will be a pleasure to shake its dust from my boots. This cavern is too small for the likes of lock and load. <laughs> The Silencer mod should help cover our tracks and try to pick slugs that blend in with the kings. Shouldn't be too hard under all that flash. Okay, guys. Quick, slick, and sly. Three of my many middle names. Look who's back for more. <laughs> it appears as though my doorstep needs sweeping. Yes! Just the slug with which to clean my house. Cleaning house. Huh? How am I doing, folks? Yeah! His slugs seem a whole lot more powerful. Thanks for the save. No prob. Keep your eyes open. Something thump. Your hands! That's what should be up. You know, you really need to work on your banter. Pity you'll never have the chance. It might sting. <laughs> and that, my, my friends, is, is how you do it. What? You want an encore? You dispatched my associates quite handily. Let's see how you do against me. You seem surprised I'm here. After my associates informed me they had control of this cavern, I was naturally bound to show up sooner or later. It's fortunate I arrived when I did. Fortunate for me, I mean. Eli, we have to step in. The King's gotten this far on his own. Kind of. Kind of. But that's Dr. Black. 
So, you are the one responsible for all this? Huh? Yeah, more or less. Well, I'm sure it was exhilarating while it lasted. But now it's over. If we reveal ourselves now, when everything's at stake, the king will never live it down. There's nothing more sacred than a slinger's honor, especially in their home cavern. But Eli, honor needs to be earned by dueling. We can't keep propping this guy up. As a courtesy, you may draw first. Consider it a parting gift, or perhaps a last wish. One way or another, his people love him. I don't want to watch his entire life's calling crash and burn. And if we don't step in, his entire life will crash and burn. Not to mention the town. I know you guys are right. But let me try this one more time. All right, then. We'll shake, rattle, and run! <laughs> I'm not nearly as naive as my associates over there. What? You're not dueling alone. I, I don't see anybody else. I'd recognize that in furnace anywhere. You're getting help from Eli Shane. <sighs> You've called me red-handed, Dr. Black. I'm afraid I am receiving assistance. Okay. Time to face the music. Ah, uh, here he is. The Puppet Master. Thanks for trying, Eli, but it appears as though the game is over. Sorry, King. I wanted to save your cavern and your honor. Now you'll save neither! <laughs> My final offer. Surrender this town, and I'll leave it intact. Force me to duel. We love you, King! Don't let the bad man scare you! Surrender? Sorry, Dr. Black. I don't know the meaning of the word. Then allow me to teach you. Let me show you how I defeated the Twisted Man and his little twin in a duel that lives in legend. Never heard of it. Goodbye, your majesty. If you want the king, you have to go through us. You defend a man who's a cheat and a coward? A man who's lied to you about his prowess and exploits. <laughs> you think we don't know all that? It's why we love him. Why, without his tall tales, we'd go nuts in this middle-of-nowhere town. Even I know they're just stories. But they're good stories. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry my little subterfuge brought us to this moment. Oh, touching, heartfelt, and nauseating. One obstacle or a hundred, I'm going to have this cavern. <laughs> Let's get her! Looks like the king and his people are black on the ropes. <laughs> Give it up, Black. You're not taking this cavern. Get my Gatling blaster. Now! Stop Lock and Load from getting the Gatler. I'll take care of Black. <laughs> Without you, rabble, this place is still my gateway to the Outland Reach. Did everybody? 
everybody see that shot? I believe that I just won the day. Best we retreat, Doctor. Pretty impressive how well you stood up to Black on your own. I wasn't alone. That's the secret of this cavern. Its strength is in the collective spirit of its people. I'm just a humble vessel for their greatness. Not entirely humble, but great nonetheless. Things ended well this time. Black wants something out there beyond the known caverns. I'm pretty sure he'll be back to get it. <laughs> and next time, I won't hesitate to ask for help. I may not be the best slinger in Slugterra, but I am the luckiest. No one's ever gonna dispute that story, Your Majesty. Stalagmite 17. The most escape-proof prison in all of Slug Terror. Watchful guards. I take locks, steel doors. And now, in control of it all, me, Mr. Saturday. <laughs> I can think of no better place to hold the world-famous Shane Gang. Go ahead and gloat, Saturday. But you're missing two little things. Oh, and they are? The two of us you didn't manage to capture. And they're probably on their way to rescue us right now. Ha-ha! <laughs> Nothing can keep the great Pronto away from the fight! Hey! Where did everybody go? Oh! Captured! Well, never fear. Pronto will come to the rescue! This is really gonna take a miracle, isn't it? No! if I wasn't seeing it with my own eyes. The Shane Gang, locked up like a pack of stray dogs. I'll be there before nightfall to collect them. Congratulations, Saturday. You're now officially another minion of Dr. Black. No, 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 no. I am a businessman, and this is strictly business. Although I am running a little low on ghouls, Dr. Black. Call our arrangement what you wish. You'll get your ghouls when I get the Shane Gang. And one other thing, none of your mind control foolishness. I want our prisoners fully aware as they count down the minutes to my arrival. He's not here yet, Saturday. And there's still plenty of time for us to break out. From Stalagmite 17, I have every guard under my control. And they have one simple order to ensure you do not escape. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get myself a smoothie. I can't believe I got us into this mess. Come on, Eli, it's not your fault. Well, technically it is your fault, but we forgive you. Just don't ask me to forgive myself for what happened. <sighs> Worst surprise party! Gotta use the double barrel blaster! Without the Enigma slug? I've been practicing. But I think I got this. Ha, <laughs> 
where was I? Ah, yes. Pronto's brilliant rescue plan. <laughs> <laughs> Which begins with finding out exactly where our friends have been taken to. <laughs> Luckily, the Rusty Buckle Cantina is nearby. A watering hole for ex-cons and all species of slack tear and scum. <laughs> with Pronto's natural gift of gab, he will easily learn through the criminal underground where our friends may be. This way! <laughs> and now that way! <laughs> Hurry up, you guys. He'll be back soon. Come on, push! <clears throat> What's this thing? <laughs> <laughs> An escape attempt? That is a zombifying offense? Wait, stop! Do you really want to disobey Dr. Black? Mm, I suppose that would be bad for business. But no more escaping! Face it, there's no way out of here except the front door. Don't worry. We still have Pronto and Burpee. Yeah. We must blend in and find a lowlife who just may know where our friends are. <laughs> who do you think you are? Slugs have no place on Mighty Pronto's exquisite shoulder. have their ear to the ground. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Nothing worse than a sassy slug. So, tell me, what news have you heard about the Shane Gang from your brothers in crime? You can tell me. I am an ex-con too, you know. Ex-con? We're the South Cavern Women's Knitting Club! <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. Yeah! Outnumbered and outneedled, but not outstinked. <laughs> ah, not so tough after a little whiff of flatterer rinkus, eh? Actually, smells better than this place did before. <laughs> Get him, <'em>, girls! <laughs> <laughs> Well, excuse you, Mr. Stripey Shirt. Don't shoot! I just don't want to go back to Stalagmite 17, okay? Ever since that maniac Mr. Saturday took over the place, it's worse than ever. Stalagmite 17? Of course! Not even that impenetrable prison can hold me back. I will climb every wall. Break the locks and evade every last bitey shark! Or you could just use the front door. Ah, the front door, you say? So crazy? It just might work! Good day to you, fine sir! <laughs> ah, you see? Exactly as front to plan! <laughs> We're running out of time. Black's gonna be here any minute. It's called a smoothie, not a lumpy. Oh, 
What does it take to get a proper blended fruity drink around here? <laughs> mm. New escape plan. You know what I miss most in here? Making smoothies back at the hideout. Uh, oh, uh -huh. yes, yes, that's, your smoothies uh, are yummy. You, uh, you like to do. So you make smoothies? Find this elusive front door. <laughs> oh, go ahead and laugh. You slugs cannot understand pronto scientific method. <laughs> as pronto planned it. This is where Pronto's natural tracking skills will shine. Ha! I am already on the scent of our captured colleagues. Getting warmer. It is quite warm in here. Saturday. No way I'm making you one of my world famous supremely delicious smoothies. Yes, you will. Or or what? How are you going to make me Saturday? I'm not one of your zombie minions yet. Cool down Saturday. Remember what Dr. Black said about no zombieing. It is better to beg for forgiveness than to go another minute without my smoothie. Now, Incoming! <laughs> and outgoing! <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you guys back. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but Black's gonna be walking down that hallway any second now. Night night, Mr. Saturday. Uh, I know. Proto is an expert zombie walker, no? To maximum security. Pronto is here to rescue Eli Shane. Do-gooder was the one who put me in here. <laughs> exactly as Pronto planned. <laughs> Keep 
break. Let's go. <laughs> for this? <laughs> you have my heartfelt thanks. Zombie guards to the front gates. Stop the chain gang. <gasps> I'll handle their soon-to-be zombified comrade myself. Huh. Front door's open. Our luck continues. <laughs> yeah, not so much. <laughs> Your friends might have escaped, if not for you. So, in return, Mr. Saturday offers you a last word. Actually, Pronto must admit, Pronto is superior to slugs. But maybe not as superior to one slug huh? as he thought. I said last word. Uh, excuse me! I'm not finished, sir! Pronto should have had more faith in you. Huh? Pronto should have let you guide him more. Hey, we make a good team, you and I. You can run, Mr. Saturday, but you cannot hide from the justice of Pronto and Burpee. Careful choosing your slugs. Not the guards' fault they're zombies. Don't want to hurt them. Too bad they don't care as much about hurting us! A tornado? I get it. What happened? That just happened. I don't know what just happened, but run! Reverse hypnote my cryptograph! Impossible! Everything is possibly impossibly possible when Proto is around! <laughs> Perfect timing! Let's get as far from here as we can! Unfortunately, I don't think you'll be getting very far at all. Maybe we can swim for it. 
Maybe we can be shock floss. No choice. Gotta slug it out. I do not think so, Dr. Black. Pronto? <laughs> you may laugh at Pronto, but let me introduce you to my little friend. Consider yourselves rescued! That flame spire's gonna fizzle! We gotta bail! Question is, how? <laughs> Got it! The double barrel? Eli, what if it doesn't work? Burpee thinks it will. <laughs> you had seen what I have, my friends. You would not hesitate to have faith in this slot. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Too, Pronto. Yes, we made a great team. Did Pronto just share credit with a slug? Of course, because Pronto knows how to handle slugs. See, all of you could take a lesson from Pronto. Be strict, but fair, with a steady hand. In order to understand a slug, you must go to a simple 20 point checklist. Step number one does it stink? And by stink, I mean smell. Pronto! Pronto.